Good evening. Welcome to the show. How are you? These poetry prismatic dreams. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. All right. Let me start by saying first, his name is Phoenix. He's a five-month-old baby, and he has a brother named Malachi. He was born as one of the twins uh, by a poet in our community. Uh, he was born with a heart defect, which recently had him required to have a uh, open heart surgery. And he also had blue baby syndrome. That wasn't enough. The father died when the mother was only a month pregnant, so he never got to see his children. If you'd like to help Baby Phoenix, I will put a link into the chat room for you. And uh, let's see if we can do something about one of our community. Hello, my name is Max Parvis. Phoenix, the one who rises. Phoenix, the one with the beautiful cry. Phoenix, the one who inside my womb grew for five months, later rolls anew. My first encounter with the Phoenix started with an ultrasound. I was told my womb had become a womb and that the Phoenix was destroyed. Prayers went up and blessings came down. He rose from the fire and multiplied. Lying in the womb, no longer a tomb, he grew. Time became the enemy as space became scarce. The wound was opened, and as Phoenix began to breathe, it was clear he was not whole. He held true to his blue and purple feathers, and they all gathered around to see his plume. The, 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 the machine yelled out to alert the team that he was in distress. For weeks, the machines told the story of Phoenix that he could not tell. I held the Phoenix in my arms and prayed that he would not be destroyed. For five long months, he held true to his blue hue and plume. The heart of gold that he held inside was broken. And with words not spoken, we prayed and prayed. The day came that he was big enough to have that broken heart mended. I held my phoenix in my arms, knowing that soon he would burst into flames and die. The time came and they took him away. He was put to sleep, sent deep into the abyss. The last thing he knew in this life was a goodbye kiss from the lips of his mother. The heart that was broken was made to stop, no longer to be in the state it was in. Lungs didn't breathe. But the breath he needed was being sighed by me, blood made to flow through machines while the broken spots in his heart were fixed. Ten hours. That's how long he had to make the choice to either rise anew or go on with another life. They stitched and patched, began to heat up the blood to flow through his heart to allow him to rise again from the flames. Tubes and drains coming from the body of the baby I held in my womb for 33 weeks. While he was deep in sleep making the choice to either be with me or leave. As they lowered the medication, I saw my phoenix begin to rise from the ashes anew. Reborn with a new heart. Not completely fixed, but temporarily able to sustain the new life that Phoenix had chose. And I thank God that he chose to rise. His 500-year lifespan will go by faster than that actual time. But again and again, the Phoenix will rise. From the next surgery to the next. From this nest that I will lovingly build and watch it over and over again burst into flames. The doctors will stop his heart and send him deep to the edge of the abyss. I will never miss the moment that I know my phoenix has died, but I will always love the moment that I know my phoenix has decided to rise anew, reborn with a new heart to live again.